Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of 16th century. Now, when we left off, we were attempting to gain a little bit of relation with King Henry VIII, and we succeeded in doing that for the most part. However, I still now have to de deliver, I was going to say develop, but no, I still have to deliver a letter, not develop one, but yes, anyway. Otherwise, what I would like to do is purchase an Enterprise in London. And the best one to actually get, I've already checked the prices of them, is, of course, the Weavery and Dye Works. They obviously borrow that, I believe, from native, I guess? I mean, I don't know. But yeah, most of the other Enterprises are very, very bad in comparison. But 10,000 dinars is quite a lot of money. So obviously, you know, that's definitely something to take into account. But this is going to give us... 1200 at least over a thousand per week even if the prices change i suppose i mean i think that's pretty good do you happen to have a job for me okay all right okay so apparently there are some looters nearby this is always bad for me oh no no there we go they spawned very very close by fantastic yeah this never happens for me ever this never, never, ever happens to me. Maybe once or twice in the entire time that I've played Warband has this happened. But this is rather amusing as well. We do get to actually see the huge, huge menu that we have here, which tells me everything I need to know about every unit on the battlefield. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. All of these extra quality of life features that the developers have added makes the experience that much better. I mean, you can see, right? Six enemies. Oh, look, one enemy's dead already. I mean, I can obviously count, so it's, it's you know, pretty easy to find out that two have died and I only have four left. But this is a very, very simple fight in a much more complex fight than knowing how many units you've killed, knowing how many units you have left is a very important piece of information to have. And I don't have to activate the battle map anymore. Look, here's the battle map. This is usually what tells me what's going on and how many people have died and so on and so forth. But I don't need that anymore because that menu over to the right is going to do everything for me. Fantastic, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to take a little bit of... Uh, I, I don't really want to use the Nomad armor, to be honest. Just going to take everything because even though we are currently swimming in money because of the give me more money, you know, option at the very beginning, that still doesn't mean that we can't look after the pennies, because we got to do that. You know, you know the saying? The saying is, you know, what is it now? Take care of the pennies and the pennies will look after themselves, or something along those lines. Yeah, that's a very old saying. Anyway, uh, it seems like we have a bunch of extra looter parties in the area, and we're going to be dealing with them all. Now, of course, English longbowmen, they're, they're known as being pretty decent with range, so I'm very much hoping that I'll be able to rely on them for the most part for our ranged damage. Otherwise, I might have to outsource, but outsourcing in the, in the grand scheme of things may not be the best idea considering morale problems, and I can assume with the amount of factions that are included in the mod, I mean, there are, what, 33, I believe? 33 factions? I mean, that's pretty crazy already, but you can imagine that if, let's just say, 10 of them decide to have sort of an uh, intercontinental war or whatever, then, you know, things are going to get really, really messy. So I'm going to try and level up my crossbow proficiency here. Ah, oh, yeah, it's working. It's working a little bit. Can I kill this guy? Yeah, there we go. And there's level 3. Thank you very much. And everyone is... Is everyone dead? No, no, I don't think everyone's dead. There's a couple of them still remaining, but... Yeah, if I zoom in, it's just going to make things much, much more difficult for me to hit. So that's why I'm being a little bit less zoomy about things. But yeah, there we go. Oh, well, never mind. I suppose it's fine. We will just allow our English longbowmen to do their jobs. And uh, yes, more looters have perished before us. Okay, so uh, Falchion, should I take that? I don't, uh, not really. Don't really see the necessity to take it. And there we go. All right, so the other thing that I want to do is go to York. I think this is another town. Yes, it is another town. That's fantastic. So what we're going to do is, uh, why, why can I not, ah, aid the center. There we go. Okay, so yes, I'd like to aid the center a little bit. I'd like to give it another five, well, I'd like to have five relation with it and go and speak to 
the guild master because I'd like to make another Weaverian die works. And we, we, hopefully this is going to mean that we will have a, a decent enough income to be able to sustain a reasonable mid to high tier army. Obviously we're probably going to need to do a little bit more in the grand scheme of things. We're probably going to need much more in the way of, well, income eventually. We're going to need more enterprises probably going to have to expand to Europe and things like that. What, what's the doctor doing? Can you heal my army? <gasps> that's crazy. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so yeah, if you have a very, very injured army, then you can get all of your people back to full HP just by waiting with the doctor there. Now we have Juan Carlos here. And we're going to be recruiting him. Yes. Yes, try not to shoot anyone on your first day. Yeah, there we go. Ransom Broker. There's Hired Blades. The Hired Blades look so good. Look at them. And 14 of them for 868? That is very cheap. Very, very cheap indeed. Okay, so let's, let's see what's going on here. Gonna have to censor that once again. Fantastic. Anyway, we are going to... Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, should I go for Musketeer? Nah, we're gonna go for some more Longbowmen. I think that's a good idea. Alright, so... Mm, English pikemen or English infantry? I don't know, because if we're going to go up against a bunch of cavalry, then pikemen would obviously make a big difference. They do also level up into horsemen. It would make a good deal of sense as well, by the way, if I were to look at the camp menu, because there's no doubt going to be, yes, huge amounts of options. Reward soldiers? What does that mean? Oh my, look at that. Okay, generous. Oh, that is... Why do, why do no other mods have this kind of thing available? Because you think to yourself, you know, your soldiers, what do they want? They want to be paid, right? They want to be paid, and they want to, I, I suppose, get rich off that, and so on and so forth. And to get their morale higher, what do you do? You pay them. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? That's absolutely fantastic. In no other mod have I seen this, with the exception of maybe the mod that this is based off, and that is, I believe, the Anno Domini mod. I believe that is the basis for this. So do bear that in mind. And I haven't actually played Anno Domini except for a special feature, and that was a very, very long time ago, so obviously I may not be too familiar with what is currently going on. I'm going to disable companion complaints because I absolutely loathe those. So yes, yeah, so we're going to disable that. I could be using format Formations Battle AI and things like that, but at the moment I'm kind of happy with them not getting messed up because in one of my current series, the AI is having some problems with that. So I'm going to go and just place the dehorsed cavalry and the no ammo archers to infantry. Sounds good to me. NPC Lancer fix. Shall we... Yeah, no, I don't really, I don't really mind about that too much. And here are the mod options. We can enable some cheats if we so desire. We can change our name. More options. Wow, there are just so many. Look at this. Allow cattle follow active injured function. What does that mean? Oh, I'm a little bit worried about that. Yes, auto civilian cloth change. Well, clothing, I suppose, changes when we are in taverns and things maybe i don't know disable npc complaints of course and active minimap that is fantastic and then we of course have the pole arms once a, an agent uses a pole arm that is of course a unit in in this case there is a, ch a chance to break it ah hmm well I'm, as i'm not using pole arms i don't really mind about that i suppose but what if it affects our pikemen that's obviously going to be a bit of a problem now we also have troop trees available too now, I'm going to save real quick, because sometimes when I take a look at troop trees in the past, it has crashed the mod, so I'm going to be a little bit careful about things here. But this gives us an opportunity to look at all of the various factions and what they specialize into, so I'm just going to have a brief look here, and we're not going to stay on this screen for too long. Woo, the Great Ming Empire looks extremely powerful. Look at their armor. Their armor is very heavy by the looks of things. And the Kingdom of England, how are, they, how are they doing? The English Knights are apparently the top tier cavalry. And the Longbowmen are actually not even that good by the looks of things. Or at the very least, they are easy to level up. They, they, whoa, they have seven power draw. They have seven power draw, that's pretty good. And look at their Longbow, the Longbow is pretty decent. I mean, it's not, it's not got the most damage, but not bad, not bad. I'm actually wondering if anyone has better Longbowmen. Well, Spain has crossbowmen. 
So not they're kind of similar, I suppose. Mongol Empire, yeah, of course they're only going to be using horses. Then we have the states of Japan here. Are, are they are they as good in terms of? Ah, uh, the power draw is a little bit less, but I would assume that they have a much better sort of melee than the English longbowmen, I suppose. And wow, there. Uh, I don't even know. There's just so many. I'm just gonna quickly go through this. Oh, camels. <laughs> We have camels. Yes. Wow, that is a huge... Is that, is that a... That is a huge weapon. It's a broom. It's apparently a broom, but no. It, look, it looks like something a bit different from that. But do you see the weapon proficiencies of this guy? Absolutely crazy. Really, really crazy. Okay. Otherwise, there's... Ju I mean, look. There's just so many. So many different factions. And I, I suppose you can join all of them, right? There's even Mayans in this. Even Mayans. Wow. Okay, so how do I leave this screen, by the way? Has the game crashed, actually? Yes, the game has actually crashed. Okay, well, there you go. So, yes, at least I saved before that happened. And I know now not to go too far into the troop tree. Alright, so we've taken a quick look at the troop trees. Obviously not all of them, but yes, yeah, that's, that's what I get for wanting to look through all 33, isn't it? Yes, anyway, we're going to go and take care of this party here. And hopefully that will then spell the end of this task. And then hopefully the fellow that we're looking for, who, what's his name again? Lord Lick or something along those lines. <laughs> yes, I, I don't know. Pitiless. Yes, he's, he's the pitiless fellow, isn't he? Yes. Anyway, we're going to try and speak to him after this and deliver the letter. And oh, I really wish I had much more proficiency in crossbows. I can imagine that we would be really quite the sharpshooter if that was indeed the case. I am actually shooting like I am a regular archer at the moment. Ooh, Juan Carlos, you're using your amazing weapon, whatever it may be. I actually don't even know what he's using. Is he is he using a gun? It looked like he was using a gun there for a second. But yeah, I need to treat the crossbow more like a gun than like an actual longbow or anything like that because obviously it has less arrow drop than the longbow might have. Oh yeah, nice. Look at that. We zeroed in on that guy. Very nice. Okay, so there we go. That was that was easy enough, wasn't it? Good. Okay, so we can just take these. I need to sell soon. And we might as well just sell now, because I'm right next to this. So let's just sell here. Sell all of this, actually. I'm, I don't know whether to keep the... Uh, I don't know whether to keep the, the horse. I don't think I will but it's only 28. It's really not even worth selling, to be honest. Yeah, we probably need a little bit more food as well. So, yeah, as you can see, the food has been reduced in the amount that there actually is, but I think it takes longer for your party to eat through it. That could be the case. So, yeah, anyway, let's go and take a look and make sure that we still have... Yeah, there we go. We still have that. There we go. That's nice. How, when, when do we actually get interest? Ah, per week. Ah, uh, okay, so, okay, D don't, what? Pay attention to your cash and money in your account. Don't get or put too much money in there. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'd like to take 1,000 out. Maybe there's a problem with it going over 10,000 or something like that. It's 4%, oh, I don't know. I don't know what, what the deal is with that, but anyway. Hopefully we're... Are we done with that quest? No, no. Deal with looters. In the surrounding countryside. Well, there's a bunch. But what's cool about this is that England is so small that you're able to just find the looters in no time at all, which is exactly what I like. Because, you know me, I absolutely hate the deal with looters quest because it's very, very difficult to find looters in general. Or at least I've always found that it's quite difficult to find looters. So let's get ready to rumble, shall we? Yes. We're just going to send my... We're just going to send the cavalry in. We're just going to send the cavalry in this time. I'm going to just try out the English knights. They are very good. I mean, they are the top-tier heavy cavalry that the English have available to them. So, in theory, they're going to be able to just deal with whatever comes their way. Which, in this case, is a bunch of poor, defenseless looters with very, very bad armor. Yes, I don't feel bad. Or do I? Do I feel bad? Do I feel bad about... Absolutely destroying their livelihood. Well, they are looters, and they are technically picking on innocent people. So, I guess, yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter too much. 
But anyway, we're going to just take that is... Uh, no, 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 that is not a pair of new boots for me. Alright, so... Oh, there's the Kingdom of France. Hello. Yeah, it's no wonder they're over here. Okay, so let's have a look. We are... Hmm. Oh, there's Duke Lick. Duke Lick. Hmm, yes. Duke Lick. Okay, so shall I shall I join them? Can I can I join here and actually see what's going on? Maybe? No, I can't. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe Oh, no, I'd love to become a vassal. Can I not become a vassal and join these fights? No. Oh, yeah, maybe I can maybe I can speak to that fellow. Yes. Okay, so I've come to offer my uh yes. Okay. Well, about the task you gave me. What what am I actually doing for this guy? I'm I'm delivering the letter, aren't I? Well, obviously I have to wait for that, don't I? So there's King Francois the 1st. And King Henry is wanting to have a word with him, I suppose. Now I'm going to wait for Duke Lick to come out of here. Uh are you are you done soon? Ah, there we go. Yes, fantastic. Okay, so now I can speak to him finally. You have the look of a mercenary. Another vulture come to grow fat on the misery of this land. Yes, well, you look relatively fat yourself. Thank you very much. I bring a message from King Henry. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I... Oh, I could technically enlist. I could technically enlist in their army if I so desired. Should I do that? I don't really want to enlist with Duke Lick, to be honest. Or do I? I mean, he only has 77, but... Is that enough to deal with people? I think that's enough to deal with people. Let's do it. I'm with you. Yes. Okay, so there we go. Now we get to join the commander in battle, which is the main reason why I wanted to do this in the first place, because now we get to see a big fight. Okay, so I'm, I'm starting as a longbowman or a militia of sorts, so this is obviously not going to work out too well for me, because I am technically a crossbowman and not a longbowman. So, uh, yes. What can you what can you say about that? It's just going to be a huge disappointment all around because I oh, I do actually have a you know a pretty decent sword, but I do not have a shield to go along with it. So obviously that's going to make things a bit difficult. But if push comes to shove, I do have a pretty decent melee weapon, so I'll be able to hopefully get a little bit of experience that way instead of shooting my bow. I am actually pretty happy to see that not many people have shields here. Yeah, as you can see, I literally do zero damage. I mean, I might as well be doing zero damage. So let's just let's just do some damage with my sword. Yeah, there we go. That's what you get. Okay, banner person. I'm going to run after you, banner person. And take you out, apparently. Oh, and we deal extra damage from behind. Oh, yes. We know how the Beartailed family love rear entries, don't we? So, yes, hopefully we're going to be able to do a little bit more of that in the near future. Oh, no, I'm attacking some of our own people. That's probably not a good idea. Alright, anyone else? Yep, they've oh, they, they've got reinforcements. They've got reinforcements. We, we need to be pretty careful about the high-level units on the enemy side, because I can die very, very quickly, of course. But I think at the moment we should be fine. Yeah, take that. That was a nice thrust from behind there. Very good. Okay, so can we can we get a little bit more? Can I get a little bit more experience? I mean, we actually already leveled up once, and that was pretty fast. So I'm pretty surprised about that, to be honest. Oh my! Look at their armor! Their armor is just fantastic. I, I want some of that. I want some of that armor. Now, I know that, you know, in general, whenever you play a mod, you think to yourself, wow, I'd really like to get that armor or whatever. But in this case, it's actually really impressive looking because in most other mods, yeah, you see armor similar to, for example, what the English knight is wearing. And you think to yourself, yeah, that's, you know, that's some pretty, that's some pretty decent armor. You know, I, I don't mind about that too much. You know, I wouldn't mind having a little bit of extra, oh my, I wouldn't mind having a little bit of extra protection. But then you think to yourself, this guy, this is the kind of guy that you want to have armor. I mean, look at that. Look at how shiny it is. Obviously, you want the one that is red-black, don't you? You want that one. The one that Sadistic William is, is wearing. Because, I mean, that just looks really good in comparison to the shiny white knight sort of thing. You know? You want to be the guy that everyone is afraid of. So you want to have red-black, don't you? Because that's obviously the most menacing of combinations. Anyway, we're going to see if I can actually just extricate myself from the situation. I do not want to be here anymore because I'm probably going to die very quickly. And it's it's rather hilarious how our forces have died so much. But 
Saying that, the enemy has lost many more, because I'm actually still getting a bit more used to the new display, as it were, so obviously I'm a little bit, you know, still just kind of getting familiar with all these things. So, yeah, kill him, kill him, yeah, kill this guy, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is not good. Okay, yes. Oh no, don't die, come on Byron, stay alive please. That would be nice. Do, do I, oh wait, do they have healing? Do I have healing abilities in this? I'm actually unsure about that, because I know that Nova Eaters has some healing and and you know, various other mods, but yes, I'm actually unsure whether this... Ha I don't think this has healing, which is unfortunate. I'm trying all the other all the various... No, I've dropped my Nordic Sword by mistake. Yes, there we go. I'm very good, aren't I? Yes, I'm very coordinated. Yeah, very good. All right, so there you go. We actually did win, amazingly enough. And we killed 166, and now they have 126. And this is King Francois himself. So obviously once we have eliminated him, the enemy will have no no course of action to take but to retreat because the head of the serpent has been beheaded, I guess. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. But yeah, they're, they're probably just going to retreat. But yeah, I, I did notice actually in the, spe in, the, in the special feature list. No, no. Th this is a special feature. But yeah, anyway, in the feature list of the mod, you can execute... Lords. Well, technically, lords can die. I'm not entirely sure whether that means that they can die on the fields of battle, or whether it means that you can just take them prisoner and you can execute them. Because, of course, there are some other mods that do have the execution mechanics, and you can take people prisoner and execute them, and then you obviously lose a bunch of honor and relation with various people, and then everyone's going to hate you, and all that sort of thing. So, I'm actually pretty interested to see what happens in that regard. I think it would be kind of fun to find out. But, yes, anyway, let's see what's actually going on here. What, what are they doing right now? They seem to be leading a merry dance. Yes, a merry dance. Maybe I'm going to need to shoot at a couple of the enemy to get them to charge in or something like that. But, yes, I can understand that the Kingdom of France does not particularly want to charge in right now because they are severely outnumbered. So, yes, they're going to need to find either some terrain advantage or some other way to get a little bit of extra well I, I guess that serves me right that certainly serves me right because I'm literally one of the lowest level units on the <laughs> battlefield okay I, I had hoped that my death would spark you know some sort of charge effort by our lords here but yes they're just like oh look at that fool he just ran out there and got headshot immediately that's usually me i'm usually saying to that one person that gets killed first you know you fool you idiot what were you doing over there you know so yes i suppose i should really have learned from that but i was just like yes i'd like to try and force them to charge in but now look look at what has happened the french have come out with their heavy and light cavalry and they are devastating the lines of our forces because you know bright ideas and everything the English in this case decided to take a bunch of longbowmen and musketeers and all the fantastic units that are extremely weak against cavalry because of course they did <laughs> of course they did oh there, no there's another band of cavalry coming in there oh my that is going to do a lot of damage look at that they are dealing so much damage right now, and we have already lost. Oh no, no, we've lost about the we've lost about the same actually, haven't we? Yeah, we've lost about the same. Well, you know, technically, no, I think we. No, we've lost more. No, we've we've certainly lost a lot more. Yes, we have. Never mind. I'm still getting used to reading this because the wounded. I expect the wounded and the dead and the alive I expect to see on the top there. So when I see the A, I think to myself, oh, that means alive. Yes, no, it doesn't, but. Yes, I'm still getting a bit more used to that. Anyway, let's see what's actually going on here with a menu that's a little bit more... You see, that's the reason, because Wounded is usually on the top, and the enemies and the allies and all that sort of thing are on the side, so it's opposite to what it usually is. So obviously that's causing me a bit of consternation there. But anyway, I think we're good. I think we're fine. I mean, really, it, it just needs to... You know, they just need to deal with a couple more waves. And I suppose I'm going to cut away while they deal with them. All right, well, there we go. That is a victory for the Allied forces. And, uh, yeah, we're we're just going to be like, for England, and so on and so forth. Yes, anyway, it seems like 
well, we severely outnumbered them, of course, and that was the main reason. But I think what I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future is I'm... Oh my, we do get to take a bunch of really, really nice gear here. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to be... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, they swapped out my gear, didn't they? Yes, they did swap out my gear. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually literally just going to take everything that I can. And I'm going to sell this the next time we're in a nearby town. Because we're going to get good amounts of cash from that. And... Yes, as I was saying, what I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future is I'm just going to be running around with Duke Lick and we're going to see how much we can gain in level and hopefully I'll get some pretty decent sort of English-oriented armor as well. Of course, what I'm going to do is I'll start the next episode when we are a little bit more advanced in the ranks and then we'll see if we're actually going to be engaging a couple of people as well. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.